Hey guys, a lot of folks will um, make comments and say, I need a gate, or I need to protect a room, or a corner, or I need to protect my carpet. So I'm going to try to help you out in this video. I may go a little fast, but you can play the video over and over. Okay, where you're at right there, I've got some tear and some rip down here on the carpet, on the corners where these guys scrape and scratch continuously. What do you do about that? Okay, this is the old hallway runner that your grandma used to have. You can buy it in rolls. You can see I've notched out for the doorway right there, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is cut your length of your doorway. You're going to put that in underneath the door, right up against the carpet. You're going to have an inch or two on each side of the door or better, okay? So this is down, right? This is a hallway runner mat. It comes in rolls. You can buy 10, 15 feet if you need to. So, what do we got next? This board comes from Lowe's. You can see that is extremely slick on both sides. A ferret can't get a hold of that. It's just a board that's maybe, you know, eighth of an inch thick. They sell it at Home Depot and Lowe's. What's this? That's your tunnel that your ferrets crawl through. Take a section that'll fit your doorway, cut it, slide it down on top of the pipe. Now, why do I want to do that, Bruce? I want to do that because I don't want my gate so high that I can't step over it, but I want it high enough that the ferrets jump, they're going to catch that pipe, they can't get a hold of it, they can't go over it. All right? Now, I see a lot of people say, what can I hook that gate up with? I can't do any damage. It's a rental house or my house. I don't want to do any damage to the doorway. And you see right here, I tried Velcro. If you get a really, really, really heavy-duty Velcro, which you're going to pay some money for, it'll work great. But I just came along across these hooks at Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree, okay? So now, this is what the hook, this is the back of it, and that's the front of it. That little hook is at Dollar Tree. I think I bought a pack of 12 for a dollar. How about that? Now, why do you want that? If you can see right here, I've got one here, one here. They're pretty low to the ground. I don't have them way up here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide that board just inside those hooks. Just like that. I missed the bottom one. And they're in. And it's the width of that board, so it works out great. All right. I'm going to move my camera. I'm going to show you, or try to show you, what you end up with. This protects those corners. You can lap that out here as far as you want to. Okay, This board is slick. It's tall enough that they can't jump over it, insured by the pipe, but it's short enough that I'm able to step over it. You see I have two right there, and actually have another one right here. Now those do great. This one has the Velcro because I was able to get a good quality Velcro. But guys, there you go. Everybody says, what can I do for a gate? What can I do for a gate? Well, there's your gate, okay? This board is at Lowe's and Home Depot. They sell it where they sell the uh, dry erase sheets. Now, not like a dry erase board, but like a sheet, a four by eight foot sheet. This four by eight foot sheet is maybe about eight, 10 bucks, okay? These little hooks, I came from the Dollar Tree, got them from the Dollar Tree, about 12. Uh, 12 of them for a dollar, and then you've got your mat down here to keep them from scratching on the carpet. All right, I hope that helps somebody. So, that is a pretty solid little way to keep your ferrets out of the room, or in this last case, way to keep your ferrets in a room. The reason I have the tube at the top and the bottom for the tops, keep them from jumping over for the bottom on this. If they're in this room in here, this is a corner, that's a corner. What do ferrets do in a corner? That's right, they poo and pee. So I've got a uh, puppy pad up against the wall on this back one back here that you see. But I've also got this down here to keep this board from getting wet. So I hope that helps somebody. If you got any questions on that, give me a buzz.